Hey YouTube, here's another cool anatomy and uh, mnemonic I just made up. Uh, this is for the facial nerve as you can see. Um, and it's basically using the letters of facial in order to make an accounting and make sure we don't forget a certain part of the facial nerve um, that is there. So you can see, if you just maybe get out a pencil and write yourself, you write an F and then an A down at the bottom and then a C up here and, and then an I here and another A here, and then an L here. And you'll have accounted for all the branches. So you can see the two sides of the C um, represent the motor branches and the nervous intermedius, which um, lead up to the genu. And then from the genu, you have um, a branch off towards the um, petrosal re region, and that's the greater petrosal nerve. And then you have this, the main branch continuing down and branching, giving branches to stapedius, and corda tympani, and then um, you have the um, kind of terminal branches down here, where um, the most important being the um, nerves to the facial muscles, and those take two two basic branches uh, or trunks, so the temporal facial trunk and the cervical facial trunk, and these of course give off those um, temporal um, zygomatic. Um, maxillary, um, buccal, and cervical trunks, or uh, branches off of those um, two trunks. And so this L here re reminds you that those two major trunks give those branches. These two remind us of the two muscles that are innervated um, beyond the muscles of facial expression, and those being the stylohyoid and the posterior belly of the digastric muscle. Uh, you can remember these are a pair uh, fairly easily because the stylohyoid has a sort of loop that the digastric um, runs through. And so they're, they're kind of having an intimate relationship. So you can kind of just mentally pair those together. And then the posterior auricular, um, and this goes back and supplies, um, it has both a sensory portion supplying part of the ear. And in um, pretty much most of us, it has some sort of auricular um, mo motor supply where um, it serves the motor muscles um, of the ear, the auricular muscles, um, so w with a greater and lesser degree in um, different people. All right, so maybe just draw your own and uh, this will help you so you don't maybe forget something when you're trying to um, account for everything. Um, and it's basically all there. If the video helped you out, please hit like and thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.